Okay, so in this video we're going to add a default WordPress gallery and it's pretty easy to do. So you just come to your right edit page as you would normally if you're writing any type of post. And you go to the media uploader which is right here. So click on that. And then here you see the new media uploader. Uh, if you have problems with this you can go to the old media uploader. But especially for this we want to use the new media uploader because it adds some functionality that we're actually going to use. So let's go into the computer, and here we are into our folder. Okay, so of course you can just click them one by one and upload them that way, but the new media uploader lets you select a range. So I can click on, on the first one, hit shift, and then click on the last one that I want in the range, and I get all of those uploaded at once. Okay, also, of course, I can click on control to add more. Okay. If I want to deselect, I hit Control and deselect. So let's deselect that one. Actually, let's deselect this one. Okay, and then I'll upload these. And here they come. Okay. Um, now you'll notice here at the top, uh, you do not see an option for the gallery, at least in the beginning. So we still need to save all changes, and then it should appear. And it does. There we go. Okay, so the first thing we have is the menu, um, and we can drag these around and make them in a different order. Right? Uh, then down here, we have link thumbnails to the image file or the attachment page. So the image file is when the viewer clicks on the thumbnail, they go to just the image. There's nothing else on the page. Uh, the attachment looks like it's on a blog page, and we'll play around with that in a minute. Uh, order images by the menu order, so this is our menu that we're talking about. Okay, um, and then we could do it by title or date, etc. We'll just leave menu order. Uh, typically, I think this is set to ascending, so let's go ahead and leave that for now. So that means it will start at the bottom and ascend up. So this should be our first image in the gallery. And the gallery columns, how many columns do you want? Uh, typically, I set. I think this is set for three, so we'll go ahead and leave that. Okay, so let's insert the gallery. Okay, so here uh, you'll notice that uh, you do not actually see a representation of the gallery, even though we're in a WYSIWYG editor. This is all that you will ever see. Okay. And if we go to the HTML view, we'll see the short code for it, so that's our gallery short code. Uh, remember, we selected file, so that's what that link file is about. Okay. And let's go ahead and publish this. We'll take a look at it. Okay, there we are. There's our gallery, three columns. All right. We click on this, and we go just to the image file. So that's what that means. Right? There's nothing else around it. Okay, let's go back and we'll play with things a little bit. So if we click on this, uh, we should get these options up here. Uh, this lets us edit things, so we'll go in here and edit it. All right. Um, so remember, you can change the order around up here if you like. Uh, let's change some things down here. Let's switch this from image file to attachment page. So now when someone clicks on a thumbnail, it should go to a page that looks like another blog page. So you know definitely that you're on the blog at that point. Uh, we'll keep the menu order. And let's change this from ascending to descending. So that means we should start at the top and descend down. Right? So this is, should be the first image that we see in our gallery. Then we have gallery columns uh, three. Let's go to four. Okay. And okay, let's update this. But actually, since we're going to four, let's go ahead and add a few more images. Let's get two more so it looks even. Um, okay. Take this one, so and then hitting control, let's select another one. Let's take those two. Okay, there they come. And we'll just double check, make sure everything's right the way we want it. Attachment, descending, four columns. Okay, everything's cool there. Okay, now we update that. And just quickly, we'll go ahead and take a look at the HTML before we go look at it. 
So we see the order now is descending, right? And the columns is set to four. Okay, back to our gallery. Let's refresh this. We should see four columns. We do, right? So this was our first image before, but now we've set it to go the other way. So now this is our first image. Let's click on this. Okay, and then it comes up on a regular blog page, right? So it doesn't look like it's just all by itself. And if we click this image, it should go to the next one. And it does. Right. Next, next, next. And that's it, the WordPress photo gallery.